What's up guys and welcome to Fezzy Fitness. So how many of you guys have already seen the prejudging at Prog Pro? I mean what a great show it is so far. The guys really brought their best to the stage. And this is what open bodybuilding should look like. There were 6 guys in the first call out. Apart from the predicted 5, there was also John Turek. I'm not sure how exactly to pronounce his name. He was also in the mix. Who was by the way in a top notch condition. And there were only 4 guys in the final call out. So Rolly Winkler got cut and didn't make the final call out here. Which is not only disappointing, but it is also another indication for Roly that he needs to give his body some rest and maybe choose a show closer to the Olympia 2022 in order to get the Olympia qualification. Roly isn't only suffering from condition here, he doesn't have the freak factor that was unparalleled for quite some years. Keep in mind Roly is 44 years old, so we don't know how long he can stay on top of his game. And he is not exactly on top of his game for quite some time now. I mean some people are even arguing at this point that he shouldn't have been in the top 6 here at Prague. So let's see what Roly brings at the finals here. Out of the top 4 guys in the final call out. Only one guy wasn't moved to center stage and that was the favorite to win the show, Nathan Diasha. Nathan went for a more conditioned look here, as he stated on his IG story. And it backfired because Regan and Milos decided to bring even more drier and fuller package than what they brought to the KO Pro stage. So by the looks of it, Nathan isn't in the lead here. Rafael Brandao might be, not might be, he is the most stripped guy on stage here. And he is on the money. Size might be the only reason hindering him in placing higher, especially from the back. But what a great physique this guy has. And still what a great performance that he is not only in the top 4, he was moved in the middle for comparison. But I don't think Brandao has all around combination of size and condition to take this show. I mean Regan Grimes and Samson are equally ecstatic and classic but they both are bigger than Rafael here. Both Regan and Samson finished in the middle and Samson looked very confident post prejudging. All right, what's up, guys? So, we just done free judging. What the hell? What a round. I'm exhausted. That took a lot. But, yeah, man, you're watching what's going on, so I didn't gotta say much. But, yeah, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. We're doing this. We're doing this. All right, yeah. This is a battle. And, yeah, we're gonna eat up, rest up. And come back for the finals tonight. But the fight is still on, and in my opinion, it could go either way. And this is a close one. It's gonna come down to finals that who among these top three come back with a much improved look. Who do you guys have winning after prejudging? The 212 class came down to a final two man call out. Ahmad Ashkanani and Oli. And the difference between lines, condition, shape and hardness is crazy here. Oli clearly winning this one. Ahmad clearly needs more oil here. And on top of that, Oli exposed him with crazy separation in the legs. When he hit back double, it was game over. What's your opinion on the top two here? Stay tuned for the finals and hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thank you.